Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this special Tuesday shave. Uh, no titles, but, 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 but I have a special razor. It's the Shield, the new Shield Gem razor. This razor, the head, was very kindly sent to me um, by Mike from Shield Razors. I ordered the SE one and he very kindly extra put in the DE head and the gem head. So the handle is the same, the 90mm one that came with the SE that I paid for. Um, it's $117 if you use my code 6 71 on Boti's uh, page. And this is the 90mm handle. Uh, 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 you see, I have already inserted the blade. This is the blade that he sent me. It's the gem stainless steel PTFE coated blade, and this is the first use. The blade gap on this is 1.15 millimeter, and the exposure of the blade is 0.15 millimeter. The weight of this, this is the lightest of the three. Um, with the SE head, it's 70 grams. With the DE head, it's 66.5 grams, and with this head on, the gem, it's 62.5 grams. So there you had all the, all the, what do you call it, tick specs. Okay, the soap for today was very kindly sent to me. It was very kind. I won it in, in a giveaway by Matty Lindholm. So I won the soap made by Pinnacle Grooming in the UK. And I won the splash. He had used it once, he said, and he had a, a reaction to something in the soap. So I won that. Um, and the bar, uh, the aftershave balm was very kindly sent to me from Robert, uh, classical wet shave Robert, on his channel. I will link uh, link to both of them. This was sent to me a long time ago before Robert started his own uh, channel, and this was made in um, Croatia, where he lives. And it has a very strong scent of patchouli. So we like that in this den, I love patchouli. So the brush is the 26 or is it 28 millimeter uh, bulldog handle. No, it's not bulldog. What's the name of this? Well, I'll write it below. I don't, <laughs> right now I'm, my brain is toast. So, synthetic fan knot, aluminium handle, and the copper obsidian ball. So we are using a titanium razor, grade five, an aluminium handle brush, and a copper shaving ball. There you have the two. Okay, so let's get this party started. So, thank you very much, Mike for sending me the razor, the gem head. It's also called the Predator, the gem Predator. Thank you, uh, Matty Lindholm, for sending me the Ottoman from Pinnacle Rumen soap, tallow based, and it's uh, very spicy. It's like walking about in a Turkish market, and I believe that's the referee, um, the reference. You know, the Ottoman, the Ottoman uh, kingdom was the Turks. So, back in the hundred years ago, so or more than that, medieval times, the Ottoman Turks. So I get a lot of spices. Uh, you know, I cannot name them all because I don't know how to. Um, so I have a sneeze coming up. You know that feeling? <coughs> so then, there you have it. Okay, so first pass. Uh, usually when I use gems, uh, I have a problem. So I'm always told by in the comments to have a, a steeper angle. So I'll try with a steeper angle. Because I always, you know, put it to the face in a 30 degree angle like I would a DE 
and that's where my trouble is. People usually comment because my angle is not steep enough. So I'm trying to focus on the steeper angle here. Oh, I almost forgot that. To get a cleaner cut and less irritation. So see the handle, the head is very little and very nimble. nimble. So, and you see the, the handle is attached uh, somewhere, not at the middle, but a, a bit closer to the edge. So it should help you control. You have the weight of the handle where the edge is. You know, that's one of those details you come to appreciate. So far this is nice. Uh-huh. Nice job. I have a three and a half day stubble, so... You might say... I'm putting this to the test. I like the waist here where I can hold, you know, and then two fingers here and then I have the perfect balance. Even though the balance is all the way up here, I hold it down here, so, yeah. I feel the blade, but it's nowhere near It's nowhere near too much. It's fine. And just like with the SE, it's very smooth. And the DE for that matter. So, if you're like me, you live somewhere funny, outskirts of the world, you might want to order this from Boti. If you live somewhere in normal, <laughs> one of the big countries, you might order this directly from Mike. And I'll put both links below. Shield.com. So, I've seen Bulgoos have these razors, but then they are 100 and, from 160 to 180. So, if you are in the States, I'm not sure. If that's a better price when the shipping is might be cheaper and stuff I'm not sure I feel my neck a bit down here and that's exactly what uh, Matty Lindholm said that he got some redness on his cheeks and on his neck so if this is the razor or the soap I don't know but might be a little bit of both. Okay, so I have to focus here. That's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. You know, I have hairs in all directions, so finding just one angle is not possible for me. There's no way about it. I have to go on the neck in a couple of different directions. So this is fine. A little there. A little there. Plenty of slickness from the soap. So, so. If you have been following my channel, you know. Was that a cut? Oh yeah, I think it is. I was just about to say I was feeling perfect. If you have been following my channel, you know, 
that I hardly ever get away with a shave with a gem. I have the gem bullseye flying wing one. I have the treat with a bakelite handle. The old American one. And I have the feather light also by Jim uh, with a white bakelite handle. And I've gotten a shave, but not what I would call a comfortable one. Because I tend to hold it like this and not like that. And I know that's my mistake and not the racer's fault. But it is what it is. This feels nice. I still have a little tingling on my neck. And I'm starting to suspect that that might be actually the soap also. I'm not sure. Let's have a, a wash and then some of the splash to see what kind of a burn I'll get. I think that it contains alcohol, the splash. Uh, and the scent of the soap is, you know, as I said, like walking in the Turkish, mar Turkish market. You know, with all the spices in big bags and, you know, ah, vases and, oh yeah, big jars. So the HNC towel, and it's always in this then. And then the aftershave. Also kindly given away in a giveaway by Matty Lindholm. Okay. I had my daughter smell the soap and she said it smelled like when you just put the spices in a cup noodle. If that's a reference, you know. <laughs> and I get it and then a little. I, well, I get it a little because of all the spices and then not at all. Okay, so I feel a little here and I feel a little here. It's not something that's killing me. The Biobasa, uh, the Croatian aftershave balm sent to me by Robert. The SOS aftershave lotion with the patchouli scent. And why do I use this? Well, I love the scent of patchouli and I don't have anything else um, with a spicy scent in a, an aftershave balm, I think. See? Now the redness comes, but that's from me rubbing a wonderful scent. Okay, so let's give this, see if the sound, if the head is in tune. Are you ready? It is, so wonderful shave. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. Six solo, out.